This video is made possible by North Naperville Autos. If you're looking for a quality used car in the Chicagoland area, North Naperville Autos is here to help. Browse their inventory at NorthNaperVilleAutos.com and drive home in a new vehicle today. All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2004 Subaru Outback LL Bean Edition. Up front is a 3.0 liter flat six and down below is a four speed automatic transmission. Now I'm super excited to be driving this here LL Bean Edition Outback for three reasons. First of all, this was the first vehicle from Subaru besides the SVX and A-Clone that got the flat six. This was Subaru's introduction of the flat six into other product lines, which is really, really fun. The second reason is the fact that this is the LL Bean edition, which is always fun to drive a special edition vehicle. And third of all, this is one of the cleanest Subaru Outbacks I've ever driven from this era, which is always, always fantastic to get on camera because this is what it looked like when it came out of the showroom back in 2004. So let's get back to that 3.0 liter flat six. Well, it makes 212 horsepower, which is really nothing to thumb your nose at. It's a decent amount of power. It's not gonna beat any land speed records, but it's definitely going to propel you through space and time at a reasonable speed. Fuel economy for that flat six I'll put up on the screen. And it's not great. Subarus are not really known for their fuel economy. So it is what it is. All right. Flat six, three liter. It's not fast. It's not even quick. It, it, it gets out of its own way. The thing is, is that the other Subaru models that came with the four cylinder are so slow that this feels quick in comparison to those it is definitely a healthy upgrade over the four cylinder however it's still not a fast car this is not a quick car but quicker than paint drying yes like i said paradoot is a four speed automatic you'll find this in pretty much every subaru from the era it's the 4eat four speed electronically shifted automatic transmission but four eat for all of you subaru fans out there and it's fine it does the job i'm not complaining about it is it quick Eh, no, but that's okay. Last but not least, of course, the Subaru is all-wheel drive, and it gets Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive, which I really do think is the best in the game. It definitely was the best in the game back in 2004. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the interior. And as we move on to the interior, I want to talk about the LL Bean package for a second. The LL Bean package was basically the top trim of the Subaru Outback. So this got all the bells and whistles. And it also received the badges on the outside and the nicer seat which we'll talk about a little bit later on. So in front of me, I have four gauges. On the left is my fuel, then I have my speedometer, tachometer on the right, and coolant temperature on the far right. On the steering wheel, I don't have any buttons besides cruise control to the bottom right. That's about it. I do get wood grain on the steering wheel, part of the higher trim LL Bean package, and I do like the look of it. Feels nice, looks nice. And to the left of me, I have fog light switches, cruise control, and my windshield wiper defrosters. Subaru has been doing this for a while, so your windshield wipers don't freeze to your windshield. You can actually defrost them at the push of a button. I love that, and I love the fact that over here I don't have any dead switches, of course, because I shouldn't. Then moving on to the door, I have my power mirrors, heated mirror options, window locks, power door locks, and my power windows. A lot going on over here, a lot of really nice features over here that I'm pleasantly surprised that 2004 Subaru having. I always think of Subaru as these sort of bare bones, off-roader cars, but these are actually some really nice features, especially those heated mirrors. You don't see that too often in vehicles like this from that era. One really cool thing about this interior as well is that I actually have two different sunroofs. So I can open up my little sunroof here. Bada bing, bada boom. And then there's a sunroof in the back that we'll talk about with the back seat review. Really, really cool that you get two of them. Moving into the center, I have two climate control vents and a hazard switch. Then I have the climate controls. A couple things to note here. First of all, I have auto climate controls. Very, very nice for 2004. 
but getting onto the fan speed button, it's a little bit annoying because there's not two buttons for it. It's just one button. So if you're at the, so as long as you keep hitting it, it'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four in terms of fan speed. And the fan speed at the very lowest, number one, one little fan blade is so, is still super fast. And the only reason I point that out is because I have to keep the fans on low for the audio of this video so it doesn't sound like I'm recording this in a wind tunnel, but just something to note. Down below that, I do have a CD player, AM, FM radio, of course, and my weather band button. So when I click this, with high temperatures in the Chicago area, over 100 and meet indices around 115 to 120. Chicago set an all-time point record of 82 degrees at Midway Airport on the morning of the 30th. So that automatically switches you to the weather band, which gives you local area weather. That is something that I've never seen in another manufacturer of car, but Subaru used to do. They had a dedicated button for the weather band. So when you were out and about, when you were on your backcountry adventure and you see a dark cloud up in the distance and you go, uh oh, uh oh, you can hit weather band and then they'll say, hey, it's fine. Or, you know, duck and cover whatever it might be. That's super cool, and it really holds to Subaru's off-roady sort of adventurous routes, and it's actually a very practical feature that I wish more cars honestly had. Then I do have an OnStar button down below. This here 2004 Subaru Outback was equipped with OnStar, which was the mid-2000s roadside assistance system that was mainly pioneered and used mostly by GM. Pretty much all GM products you'll find from the mid 2000s have an OnStar button somewhere. Very interesting to see that in a Subaru. Then I have a 12 volt outlet and a little cubby down below. And then we get to the shifter. The shifter's finished in this nice dark leather. It's held up pretty well. Looks pretty nice, but it is the typical jigsaw shifter from Subaru. Down at the bottom, I do get my typical all wheel drive badge. However, it has been altered here for the LL Bean edition with the flat six saying H6 3.0 because it is technically an H6 engine, flat six, H6, same thing. So little nice reminder that you're driving something a little bit nicer. Down below that special all wheel drive badge, I do have my heated seat options. Very, very nice to get heated seats in a car like this. And I get two different levels of them, which is really nice. Then we do have a handbrake off to the right and our cup holders. So we will do a big friggin' bottle test here in the LL Bean Edition Outback, and it fails, which is a little sad to see because this is an adventurous car. This is an adventurous vehicle. So I would like to bring my big friggin' bottle on my next adventure, and unfortunately, the cup holders just can't handle it. Then I do get a little center console, and then we'll move on to the seats. The seats, like I said, are LL Bean Edition seats. So they actually have higher bolsters than what you would think. They're very comfy, they look very presentable, and they make you feel special with your little LL Bean stitched into the headrest. I absolutely love that. And these seats are powered. They are power seats, which is phenomenal for a Subaru of this era. But speaking of seats, we do have back seats, so let's go do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2004 Subaru Outback LL Bean Edition. And first of all, I do have a center console back here, no cup holders on there. However, I do get two little flip out tiny ones down here. I get nets behind the driver and passenger seat for storage. Then of course I have power windows, things like that. And I get to enjoy, like I mentioned earlier, this second sunroof, which is slightly larger than the front sunroof, but really, really nice. I get my own experience back here. You know, I always talk about being a kid with these big sunroofs in modern cars would have just been fantastic to just stare up. Literally right now I'm staring up at some beautiful trees, lights kind of twinkling through. Really, really cool. Very adventurous, very Subaru, and I love that. The seat actual leather reminds me a lot of Cadillac leather from the early 2000s, this sort of very clean, tan, taut leather. I recently drove a Cadillac STS, and that sort of reminds me of that, which is high praise for a Subaru to be compared to a Cadillac. It doesn't really happen a lot in conversation. One last thing I want to show off here is this is the LL Bean Edition 
owner's manual for the Subaru Outback. It's finished in this nice material. This is the 2004 warranty maintenance booklet, 2004 legacy and Outback owner's manual. And the 2003 Subaru dealer directory. You Subaru fans will ab you Subaru fans will absolutely love this little thing. So this is all of the different Subaru dealerships across America, and it has this awesome WRX STI on the front. I absolutely love that little time capsule and its little LL Bean specific pouch that it comes in. Very, very cool. Now let's go take a quick look at the trunk. So around the back of the 2004 Subaru Outback LL Bean edition, just grab under here, and I get this nice cargo net. Very, very nice, as well as I can actually get a metal cargo net if I'd like, but look at how much space behind the seats you get. Tons and tons of space, really, really great, and I do have this privacy cover that will fold out. Obviously, hasn't been used too much, but that's really nice that you can actually just tuck it away or bring it out if you need it. Love the space back here. Subarus have always been great at that, and then when you close it, you get this nice L.L. Bean Edition badge, which is fantastic. Now we gotta talk about the looks, and I'm not a big fan of this color of Subaru Outback. I think it's a little bit bland. I think it's a little, you know, a little too beige for me. Although, as a reminder, I guess things could be uh, a lot more brown. A lot more brown. So now we have to talk about my final thoughts here on the Subaru Outback L.L. Bean Edition. Well, first of all, I'm super thankful that I'm able to drive one that's so clean and such low mileage. I think on the secondhand market, this is definitely the Subaru Outback to have. This is a second generation Subaru Outback, and this is the king, because not only is it the final year, not only is it the LL Bean edition, but it comes with the flat six, which is really something to seek out, honestly. Like I said, it's not a rocket ship, but it gives you enough power to be comfortable something I felt was kind of lacking in the four cylinder. So if you can find one of these rust free like this vehicle, or you can just buy this vehicle, I would highly, highly recommend it. I think these are really going to start going up in value in the next coming years for non rusted ones. These cars do have rust issues because they get used and abused and they get put away wet. So finding one without rust is getting very, very tricky. But once you can, man, these cars are great. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to North Naperville Autos for letting me take out their Subaru Outback LL Bean Edition. This is really cool. I think this is a time capsule. I've always wanted to drive an LL Bean Edition to Outback. I think that they're so cool. I love limited edition vehicles like the Eddie Bauer Ford Explorer. I'm trying to find one or a Looney Tunes Chevy Venture things like that. But huge thank you to North Naperville Autos. This is one of their inventory vehicles for sale right now. They have tons of cool inventory. I'm always filming with them. They always have interesting things. So if you are in the Chicagoland area and looking for a used vehicle, North Naperville Autos should be your first stop. They're absolutely awesome and I cannot thank them enough. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care guys.